You're going to be sick. I don't care. <laughs> I've lost all my manners. <laughs> You've had one piece, oh, I've man. had all of it. Scotland. I'm here for a night, up early in the morning to go to a wagyu farm. I'm on my way to Dunblane, which is sort of central Scotland. I'm uh, going to meet a uh, husband and wife team that just gave it all up and wanted to have cattle, but not any old cattle. They created Highland Wagyu and they've got a herd of pedigree Wagyu. So I'm gonna meet them to learn more about this prized breed of beef and to get my rib of beef to age. dream was to have seven, yeah. maybe seven maybe wagons. Maybe 30, do you know what I mean? And how many have you got now? Uh, well, it's 2,000 head in total. 2,000? Yeah. How many acres or? 25,000. 25,000, wow! It's huge. Wow. So you see, you're this crazy lady from London no, who came it. here and changed everything. <laughs> you, they must have thought you were... Uh, My baby, right? Because it Hello. likes to fuss, don't you? Okay. That's a good one. Does he have a name? Oh, I don't name him. They've probably got names for him. Ed. No, 147. 147. He is four years old. Okay. What is the life of a typical Wagyu beef that turns into a steak? It's uh, spoiled, rotten, from day one. <laughs> from day one, I have a girl that works just with the calves. So if they need, if they're not getting enough milk from their mums, she'll hand feed them. They're just like pets. And I've got, you find them sometimes sleeping in the pens with the calves, you know, so. Nice, <laughs> nice. Having a 40 wink. We shouldn't be doing that, but I've never had cattle before in my life. I've only ever had pets. Sometimes they put music on. <laughs> some pens like rock, some pens like classical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just depends. Any, any ravers? Any, no any, ravers, no, no, no ravers. But there's some that like a bit of Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me, so. <laughs> and, and massages, no. We touch them, I mean, you saw that, yeah. like petting yeah. more than massaging. Yeah. Well, you're connected to them, aren't you? Yeah. They, they, you clearly care about them and, and they're really warm. Tell me about um, beer. No. No. Why, why not? Boys drink beer, but the cattle don't. Okay. For us, it's about allowing the breed to do what it's bred to do. Yes. Yes. And so we don't force feed. Uh, they get fed in the morning, they get fed in the afternoon, so twice a day. How does it work through the year? Like they're out in the summer, they come in in the autumn? They come in when they're two years old. Then they don't go out again. And then they stay in for how many more years or how many more months? So the crosses is normally about three and a half and then full blood's about four. It's almost double. Yeah. It's more than double. It's more than double, because I think some of your commercial cattle would be slaughtered at sort of 12, 14 yes. months old. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's, a, it's completely different. When yeah. I first started, there was someone who was more of a traditional farmer. Yes. And didn't get me at all. We get them seaweed. They're you get, shiny, you feed them seaweed? In, yeah, organic seaweed. Amazing. Well, just a little bit, so don't yes. change the flavor of the beef. Yes. You'll never taste it yes. in the beef. The old ways, some of them are right, yes. but you've also got to look forward totally. and see what's new. I didn't have a clue. Amazing. I knew, like most people, we've been brainwashed, there's only four cuts on a carcass. Yes. Ribeye sirloin, fillet, rump. Right. Yes. I didn't realise there was all these, yes. a whole other world of yes. cuts, you know, so I learnt really quickly. And you've got some bulls here? We've got some big bulls I'm going to show you up the road. Let's go. Dutch. He's our oldest bull. 
Hello, Dutch. I actually think he's the oldest animal on farm. Bloody hell, he's massive. This is Dragon. <laughs> Hello, Dragon. This is Dragon. So he's the youngest bull in here. I sold a young bull this year who was five and a half months old. Yeah. For 15,000. 15,000. That, that was for breeding. But he was five and a half, he was a calf with his mum. Wow. So I sold him for that. But that's the first time I've sold a bull. Really? I've never sold a bull. If I don't put Dutch at the end and I put him somewhere else, he upsets the whole really? shed. So he likes to be there. He's funny who his neighbour is. But he's used to being next to Dutch, so if we upset, you know, the where harmony. they go, oh my gosh. Generally, a bull like Thor, who's, you know, strong, is a mature bull, he'd probably go out with about 40, 50, maybe 60 females in a year. But he's so funny, you know who he's with because he spends a couple of days with him. It's so weird. It's <laughs> he's like a, he's he takes a bit a, of a gentleman. He's a romantic. <laughs> but afterwards, mate, he's onto he's the gone. Swag. <laughs> it's, uh, it's typical. <laughs> Martina's dug out this Wagyu steak for me. Now this guy, f nearly 500 grams, 120 quid. You know, the decision for me is whether I buy a rib of this, which is not gonna be cheap, right? And age it back at the studio. Let's cook that and see what it tastes like. The marbling in there is just so exciting to me as a chef because when I cook it, I know that that's going to base the meat, the fat equals flavour. Okay, I'm going to let that rest for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to get Martina, we're going to try it. is an understatement. That is spectacular. Oh, the fat is just bloody awesome, isn't it? It just bastes it while it's cooking. I've driven a lot of miles to come here and it's all worth it because that is just, that is amazing. If I want to buy a four rim, how much is that gonna cost me? Yeah, well, you're looking at that brand. And you don't think that the cross needs aging either? I don't see a difference in the texture or the taste. So the one um, unforeseen problem was because Wagyu is so heavily marbled and it has so much fat in it, it doesn't need to be hung to tenderise it like regular meat. So I can't use it for my experiment. I'm gonna to have to go back to Richard. If you're in debt of making beef, you really need to age it on like a, a roasting pan, that side. It's gonna be really difficult to do yourself. Really? Unless you've got a walking feature and a climate control area. 